In this short video, we'll show you how compression for DB2 tables can be improved using the adaptive compression feature in DB2 version 10.1. DB2 for Linux, Unix, and Windows provides comprehensive compression for almost every type of database object. In a previous version of DB2 database, classic row compression was introduced to help lower the storage costs and improve query performance. In DB2 version 10.1 introduces a new type of compression called adaptive compression to further enhance table compression. In this video, you'll see how adaptive compression can help you to further increase storage savings, achieve high compression ratios without meaning to take your data offline to perform table reorganizations, and further improve query performance. In previous versions of the DB2 database, what we will call classic row compression provided compression capabilities using a table level dictionary. With this type of compression, after the initial compression dictionary is created, an offline table reorg operation is recommended as more data is added to the table. The reorg operation would update the table level dictionary to maintain the optimal compression ratio. However, performing offline reorgs introduces database downtime, which might be undesirable. DB2 Adaptive Compression provides advanced compression capabilities of data rows through the use of both a table level and new page level compression dictionaries. The page level compression dictionary contains local reoccurring patterns that exist within a single page. Page level dictionaries are automatically created and maintained as data is added to a page. As the page is compressed, more data can be added to the page. Page level dictionaries are automatically maintained. Classic table reorg is not necessary to maintain optimal compression. When page level compression is applied, the rows are already compressed with a table level dictionary, which results in further saving of storage space. Let's look at the benefits of using adaptive compression. For the purposes of this demonstration, we'll create three sample tables and populate them with several hundred thousand rows of data to simulate a data warehouse environment. The first table contains uncompressed data and will serve as a baseline to estimate the compression that can be achieved by using classic row compression and adaptive compression. The second table will use classic row compression to compress the data with a table level dictionary. The third table will use adaptive compression to demonstrate the benefit of using page level compression together with table level compression. Here is a syntax for the create table statement, showing how the table is created with adaptive compression enabled. To enable adaptive compression, you include the keywords compress, yes, adaptive in the create table statement. Note that in DB2 version 10.1, adaptive compression is now the default type of compression. So when you specify compress yes without specifying adaptive, adaptive compression is assumed to be the type of compression you want to use. In this example, the black bar shows that the uncompressed table has about 30 megabytes of data. The same data is inserted into the classic compressed table and the adaptive compressed table. The red bar indicates the actual size of the classic compressed table and the blue bar indicates the actual size of the adaptive compressed table. Compression is fully automated. After data is inserted, an administrative function is executed to estimate the compression you can hope to achieve. From the diagram, the estimate space saving for classic row compression is 82%. The estimate space saving for adaptive compression is 90%. Let's look at the effect of a table reorg operation. The table reorganization had a measurable effect to the size of the classic row compressed table whereas the size of the table that used adaptive compression did not improve dramatically as a result of the reorg. This illustrates adaptive compression retains high compression ratio dramatically and lasts significantly longer. Adaptive compression delays and possibly eliminates the need to perform offline reorgs. Since tables that use adaptive compression have a smaller storage footprint with the same amount of data concentrated on fewer data pages, they require less physical I.O. for data to be loaded into a buffer pool. Thus, adaptive compression can also improve query performance. Let's look at how adaptive compression performs in an OLAP environment. Here is a running workload that simulates transactions in an OLAP environment. Thousands of rows were loading in each of the three tables. The first graph indicates transactions are being executed. 
In the second graph, the blue line shows the percentage storage space saved of the table that uses adaptive compression, while the red line indicates the percentage saved for the classic row compression. You can see the percentage saved of the table that uses adaptive compression remains relatively steady with more data being added to the tables, while the percentage saved of the table that uses classic compression drops gradually from 80% to 75%. The graph at the bottom shows the table sizes as batches of data are loaded. Notice that the size of the table shown in red that uses classic compression grows a little quicker than that of the table that uses adaptive compression. The black line shows that the size of the uncompressed table grows at a linear rate. After the workload has run for one hour, the percentage saved for the table that uses adaptive compression remains relatively steady as more data is being added to the tables, while the percentage saved for the table that uses classic row compression continues to drop gradually as more data is being added. You have seen the benefits of adaptive compression over classic row compression. You can save further on storage space when compared to classic row compression. You also saw adaptive compression provides high compression ratio compared to classic row compression. With smaller storage footprint and data concentrated on fewer data pages, adaptive compression could improve query performance. For these reasons, DB2 compression can help you save money through decreased storage requirements, increased system availability, and improved query performance. For more information on DB2, visit www.ibm.com db2.